Hello world, this is Siraj. Welcome to this channel. In the last video of this playlist, we unbox point of sale system hardware, something like custom display, receipt printer, barcode reader and case drawer. In this tutorial, I'll be discussing how to install and test receipt printer. <coughs> so, let's get started. Here I got a Epson receipt printer. You can see the front side of this printer, three indicator lights, power button, and paper roll-up button. And the back side you can see three-way of connections. Here I have connected with five wire ports, and the right side you can see the power code. And you can connect these two data cable and power cable with your computer or laptop. Then you can start the following rest of the things and before that uh, you can see you can feed the paper this way I can align it like this and you can close the and you can close and you can fix it that's all here we can switch on the power of the printer First of all, you have to download the driver for this printer. I got option printer with the model number TMTH1 triple I. You can Google it with the model number and the brand name of the printer. Then you'll be getting this page to download the driver. Then once you come to this page, you can come all the way down and you can check this checkbox, accept the license agreement. Then you can find the download button here activated. Then you can click this download button. And once you click the download button, you'll be getting the dialog box to save this drive file and I'm going to save this file under this location support file and you can uh, specify the file name it's going to be saved as zip file you can click save button to save the driver then it's done and dusted you can click here and you can find show in folder then you will directly be getting this uh, driver file you can right click simply and you can click on this extract here then with a few seconds we'll be getting the complete file okay, so here we have the installation guide and everything's here read me file you can double click here and you can get the reading not supports to windows 8 windows 8.1 and the lower operating systems and you can close here and uh, other languages here we have uh, install english language here i can double click here and here we have the pdf file and you can open the pdf uh, viewer and here we have the complete course uh, complete uh, install manual and you can read and understand how to install this one you can zoom in and you can see here what are the drivers we have here then the uh, you know, support system and what you have to give here and all the settings are here you don't want to uh, complex uh, anywhere else uh, you can set the right uh, settings here and uh, step by steps we have everything here port everything's is nicely explained in this PDF file and you can refer if you have any further queries on these installations okay, I'm going to close here and I'm going to double click on this uh, installation file here we have the application file the size of 8.9 uh, MB and you can double click here then you have to give the permissions to install this driver into your operating system and here we have yes and here we have the next uh, wizard of uh, this driver you can click uh, next to go to the next wizard and you can click the license agreement yes and you can click to go for installations and it's being installed sometime uh, this may come with a driver CD Otherwise, you don't want to mesh up with any online drivers. You can insert the drive and you can install the files. Here we got the dialog box of Epson TM printer setting. Here we have to select the printer. The new printer is selected here. And you have to select the model number. By default, it is selected TMT81IIII. And you can check in this uh, receipt printer. 
then you can come to this communication settings under the communication settings we have the port type the port type by default we have the communication port but i'm going to change as usb since i am using this usb port from the printer that's fine there you got the auto setup for the port for the usb setting you don't want to customize any other further setting for the usb that will be taking as auto setup the next one is fourth apply and you can set as this printer is a default printer so you don't want to mess up with printer selections when you're going to check uh, receipt at the time of uh, post transactions then after completing everything you can click on save setting button then you have to wait a couple of seconds yes done then there you have the option tmt8 one triple i receipt printer is in this uh, printer list here we have the test print you can click test print uh, for the printing test first of all you can come to the main menu and you can come to the settings here then once you come to the setting here you can get this setting dialog box and you can come to the print options then there you have the print options and print receipt is selected as microsoft print to pdf okay, so now i'm going to click this combo and here we have option tmt81 triple i receipt printer name that we have given at the time of installation now i'm going to select this printer and can uh, click this for the settings print lock sales kitchen ticket okay, another print service message so we'll be discussing this later part and here we have the customized receipt and you can customize the receipt here print text total print text name okay, and uh, if you don't want the text you can uncheck this one and uh, print item counts how many items the customers bought in a single receipt and print total quantity if you need you can check otherwise we can turn off print measurement unit if you have any other measured uh, unit we can click check this checkbox in short receipt numbers and print order numbers and we can check the decimal into two or zero okay so i like to have two as we have any sense things and customer details and you can check the name okay and the address is enough otherwise you can keep the name only then localized print setup otherwise you can set up here so we'll be discussing this part also later and here we have some templates we have you can click the templates okay, and you can set up this one otherwise uh, you can make it as none okay the default settings will be printed and you can click the save button here and then we'll put some orders here and printer and uh, Dell i7 laptop okay that's fine here so we can go for the payment and we can give as 300,000 then if you have any detail of this one okay, of the customers we're going to have the customers you can add the customers here okay, something like this one uh, so print traders you can double click here and can get the address for them otherwise you can you can just hit the enter key you can have to set up this things here <coughs> then you can click uh, enter and the reminder then you can click again enter then there we have okay so we have print receipt Okay, and you can see the changes and you can click the print receipt the print and here you can see with the logo and your address And the customer name. you can notice here some of the texts uh, go beyond the alignment i'll be discussing these alignment changes and setup in my next video of this playlist until that
hope you love enjoyed this video if you love this video hit the thumbs up button if you are new to this channel click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the ring bell then you will be get notified to my brand new videos thank you very much guys we'll meet in the next video goodbye